right guys welcome to another special episode of the knitting expat on the knitting expat podcast channel this isn't a podcast episode this is an informative video hopefully <laughs> my name is mina i am the host of the knitting expat podcast i also design knitting patterns on ravelry as knitting expat designs and um yeah you can find me online on a variety of places I've, i'll have everything linked below this video for you and uh yeah so i'm here with you today i wanted to give you guys a bit of an uh sort of like all-round information on the sock pattern club that i've been talking about doing this year um i floated the idea probably close to a month ago maybe a little bit less than that three weeks ago about doing a sock pattern club I was working on some ideas I had for another sock collection and I thought it would be fun to do it as a pattern club rather than just releasing all of them at once as a collection and sort of having like a year long knit along to go with it. Um, loads of you seem to be really interested in that idea. Um, the patterns will be along the same sort of lines as my Beyond Vanilla collections. Um, Beyond Vanilla part one and part two came out last year. Um, I think part one came out um, mid to mid spring and part two came out in the summer or late summer so um so yeah i just wanted to put that out there uh this pattern collect this collection or this sock club is going to come with um seven patterns total there are, i've planned seven patterns for this club it will start on the first of march with the first pattern release and the last pattern will be released on the first of september so there will be monthly releases and um so you get some patterns plus you'll also get mina's vanilla sock recipe pattern as a bonus extra with it for no extra charge um, if you have already purchased mina's vanilla sock recipe then i will be sending out a coupon code to everyone who's purchased it already um, where you will be able to get two dollars off which is the cost of that pattern you'll get two dollars off the cost of the collection uh, or the sock club uh, sock pattern club so um it will be the same essentially so it'll be as if you didn't pay for it so um that's how that is going to work so don't worry if you've already purchased the vanilla sock pattern or sock recipe you're not gonna um don't feel like you've missed out like you're gonna get a code for that um to get that discount additional one so the pattern club my plan is to have pre-orders up available for purchase on sunday the 5th of February so this coming Sunday I'm not entirely sure what date this video is going to go live probably on Friday um, but the, the club pre-orders will go up on Sunday where you can then purchase the um, purchase the the club essentially there won't be anything in the um, when you purchase it you'll just get an information sheet about what sort of materials you might need or whatever things like that and you'll also get a copy of Mina's vanilla sock recipe what you will also get is a separate PDF, which is purely for the modified um, heel flap adjustment. Um, so if you just want the modified heel flap adjustment to use with your own standard recipe for vanilla socks or whatever socks you knit, and you do a different heel than the German short row heel, which is what I include in my patterns, then you can just have the modified heel flap adjustment instructions as a separate document altogether, if that is what you prefer. Um, so just to cover again, the vanilla sock recipe comes with instructions on how to knit a pair of socks cuff down and toe up. It comes with instructions on how to knit the German short row heel in three different sizes, um, 56, 64 and 72 stitch sock sizes. Um, it also comes with full instructions on how to knit the modified heel flap adjustment, um, toe up and cuff down and for a contrasting heel yarn and also the same yarn as the sock so actually there are four set of instructions for the modified heel flap adjustment just because they are slightly different depending on how you're doing it each time so that is what you will get <laughs> when you first purchase the pre-order then the first pattern like i said will be released on the 1st of march and the patterns will be released as updates to the ebook when you purchase the ebook so you will have to make sure that you get your ravelry messages uh, or check your ravelry messages for the update notifications that come through um, i've had some people in the past saying they didn't get an update notification on ravelry you may have to check your settings for that i i don't know how ravelry works exactly i just know i send out the update 
and I send it to I tick all the options that Ravelry gives me to places where I can mail mail it to people so um, I do what I can from my end to make sure everyone gets the update but um, if you don't get the notification for the update just know that the first of every month is when the patterns will be released and um, I am in the US on the East Coast so bear that in mind with time differences but um, if you haven't received the update notification go to your library there sh then you should see that there's an update for the ebook collection if you update it the updated pattern or the updated documents should um, pop up in your library at that point so um, so yeah so please check those avenues first if you're still having issues by all means contact me but there's not much I can do um, if it's not showing up in your library then it's probably a Ravelry thing there's no reason I, I don't think I've ever had a, a situation where someone's not been able to get the pattern um, it's usually just because they're not entirely sure how to get it so like I said it's just an update to the ebook that you're purchasing um, the patterns are going to be I'm just trying to make sure I'm going through this correctly so each um, pattern in the collection sorry I've got Hugo here wanting to come up and say hello can you come up and say hi I'm coming in um, it'll probably pop up in a second might be able to see him in the bottom of the screen here. Oh, there he is. Um, okay, so like I said, the collection will include seven sock patterns and each comes with the following. Each will come with the following. They will be written for three sizes. Um, I think the majority of them will have the standard stitch count sizes. Some of the patterns, because of the stitch patterns involved and the way it works, the stitch counts will be slightly different. <coughs> but it will only be by... A couple of stitches here and there so the size wise should still work out the same <coughs> sorry you will have uh, fully written out instructions on how to do the German short row heel for the sizes that are in the pattern so if the stitch counts are slightly different then um, I will have notes on how to adjust for that with the German short row heel seriously here we go this isn't great <laughs> um, the instructions for the German short row heel work the same whether it's toe up or cuff down. It doesn't make a difference. They work exactly the same way. There's also going to be a link to a video tutorial for the German short row heel, which again is only available if you have one of the patterns, if you have purchased one of the patterns that comes with the German short row heel. Um, then again, you with every pattern release, you'll also get the detailed modified heel flap adjustment instructions as well. Um, each pattern will come out with toe up and cuff down instructions on how to knit the socks. Um, some of the patterns aren't necessarily going to be directly reversible, uh, but there again, like I said, the patterns aren't directional. They, they're not going to, they're not like arrow, it's not like an arrow pattern where it's going to be really obvious if you're going toe up or cuff down that the pattern looks very different, or it's not like a floral, like a flower which looks different upside down to the right side up or something like that so um for the most part the patterns will look fine whether you knit them top or cuff down but wherever possible i will have specific instructions for both options um the patterns are written with magic loop knitting in mind because that's how i knit my socks and that's how the patterns are written um but you can easily adapt those instructions for knitting with dpns or using a, a nine inch circular um, patterns will be exclusive to club members until until the end of November 2017 so you will only be able to get the patterns if you purchase the club after that the patterns will be available as individual downloads as well okay so onto the pricing structure for the patterns the the, the pre-orders will be available for $15 for the sock pattern club and that will be until the first pattern is released on the 15th or sorry on the 1st of March and if you've already purchased um, the Mina's Vanilla Sock Recipe, I will be sending you a code so you get an extra $2 off of that price. So you'll be getting the pre-order for $13. Um, and then until, and then for the duration of the club, the, the, sorry, for the duration of the Pattern Club, until the last pattern is released on the 1st of September, the collection will be available for $17. Sorry, it's a bus going by. <laughs> um, the collection will be available for $17 and then once the final pattern is released the club will go up to its full price which is $19 for the seven patterns plus the bonus vanilla sock recipe so which actually uh, 
means you're getting a 10% discount on the individual pattern prices, plus you're getting the sort of vanilla sock recipe for free, and that's the full price. So at all of the um, earlier prices, you're getting even more of a discount on the individual pattern prices. I think that pretty much covers everything in terms of what you get with the patterns and all of that. Uh, the patterns again are written for being knit on with sock weight yarn. What are you doing? <laughs> Such a muppet. Um, the patterns are all written with the intention of being used with sock weight yarn, but obviously you can adapt it and use sport weight or heavier if you want, but that is up to you to modify the patterns at that point. Um, I will also be running some corresponding knit alongs or a corresponding knit along with this sock pattern club. So the knit along will run until the end of the year. There will be a running year long FO thread where you can post one finished one post per finished object um, of the pattern socks. So no, no vanilla socks will be allowed, only the patterned socks will be allowed. Um, and I will draw um, I will draw prizes at the end of each month from this thread. Then there will also be a grand prize finished object thread where you get one post per person and you then go back and edit each edit your post every time you finish a pair of socks. So the idea being that by the end of the year you'll have all seven pairs of socks finished and um, you can enter each, um, each pair into the same post. So by the end of the year your one post will have seven photos in it of each pair of socks. So then at the end of the year once um, once the knit along's finished, I will go through that thread and check and everyone who has finished all seven pairs of socks will be entered into a grand prize um, drawing for a big prize bundle. Um, so that's how the two finished object threads are going to run and there will also be chatter threads where occasionally I might do some drawings for pattern prizes and other things. Um, so I hope that's clear and again the information will be laid out clearly in the respective threads as well in the Ravelry group once I get that all set up. Um, and like I said, the last pattern is going to be released on the 1st of September, but the knit alongs are going to run until the end of the year. So that means that if you don't manage to finish a pair of socks every month, you do have time at the end of the year to catch up with, um, with the sock knitting. So I'm trying to be as, as flexible as possible, as fair as possible with everybody to give you guys as much time as possible <laughs> to make this a reasonable knit along and make it fun. Um, so like I said, no vanilla socks can be entered into either of the FA threads. Um, other standard knit along rules apply. Uh, double dipping into other knit alongs as long as they allow it is absolutely fine by me. Um, you must be a member of my Ravelry group, which is the Knitting Expat Podcast group. And um, I will have two hashtags running for it. One is hashtag TNYSC. And I also just realized I didn't tell you the name of the sock, <laughs> sock collection. So the sock collection or the club collection is going to be called the... Um, the New York collection because the the names I've come up with for the patterns are all based on places and areas in New York that have some sort of special meaning to us being here and um, and things like that so it's going to be the New York collection and so the <laughs> hashtags are hashtag TNYSC so the New York Sock Club or, or or the fully written out version which is hashtag the New York Sock Club um, I thought it was easier than saying the New York Collection Sock Club. So um, I will, if I, if I remember, they'll be up on the screen. Otherwise, they are going to be in the threads as well for you guys to use. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think that pretty much covers everything. I will have a chatter thread open from when this video goes up. And like I said, I will be posting the pre-orders on Sunday the 5th of February. And then if you have any questions please let me know in the chatter thread will be the best place to ask questions because then everyone else can see answers and replies and if I don't get to answer a question someone else might be able to that worked out really well in the cozy Schlanket mystery knit along that we did um, it was great because a lot of times if I didn't get to check Ravelry or didn't get to answer a question quickly enough someone else had already jumped in and answered the question for whoever was up had a query so that works out pretty well and um, yeah, so I look forward to having you guys join in with me on this year long knit along with socks is something I really enjoy doing. I'm already partway through designing the second pattern. I've got one pattern down, one is halfway through being done. I have the yarn for the next two designs already wound up and ready to go. 
and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you will enjoy joining in and uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this today. And that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm distracted by Hugo who's watching the snow fall outside. I'll try and move the camera and show you in a second. But thank you for joining me and uh, stay tuned for some videos of snow and Hugo. <laughs> Thank you.